So uh, this week, back out to the pond. One of my buddies said you need to give a little information on why and, and where. So uh, why I'm going to start off with spinner bait right here is because I can cover a lot of ground with it. I know it catches bass. And uh, when I find the school, I can pretty much set up and catch a few right in a row. And then move on to the next spot and just work the bank. So that's where we're at. That's why I'm starting with spinner bait. It's all about covering some ground. It's a half ounce willow leaf. One of my own I made. It's got the little extra teaser skirt there, which saves from having a trailer on that gets ripped off all the time. So uh, let's see what we can get. Friday night. Some fish moving over here in this corner when I pulled up. Oh, one hit it right there. One grabbed it, so let's see if it gets the next cast. If not, I'm gonna switch over to worm. A lot of the times, you get something come up after your top water, or get something come up after your spinner bait, and they don't get it. Throw a worm out there, he hit it again, and uh and they'll hit that slower moving lure. So I'm gonna go with the worm right now. He hit it twice. That's just the old Texas rig speed worm. Just small, small weight, little floppy tail. I think it's a pumpkin or, I don't know about pumpkin. I can't remember the color. It's just kind of a green brown. I go with the natural green brown because there's lots of worms and ponds that are green and brown so we'll see how this works out here Ooh, there we go we got one taking it got him Took it though. Method worked. Tapped the spinner bait a couple times and he went after that worm on the first cast. Right up shallow too. If I was to walk over there, I'd probably be able to see the fish if they were sitting there. ticket now I'm gonna let him have it just for a second he's got it there we go I'm a little bit slow taking it give him a second to take it got him right in the front of the mouth just perfect now if they're hammering down don't give it to him for a second they'll swallow it on down he's just a little guy we'll throw him on back probably be taking some more coal bass out of here again tomorrow if I continue to catch a bunch of these little ones, I'm gonna keep pulling them until we weed them out a little bit. So, uh, break out another one of these Zoom speed worms. It's a watermelon seed color. It's one of my favorites. Now I know the fish are here. I got a couple bites on the spinner bait. And I switched over to the worm and got a, like three fish right away. Do the test Texas rig weedless. So put about a half inch through there. Get it hanging, twist around, shove it up to the head of the hook there. And then bring it back just a pinch. 
so it straightens out when you put the worm through it. See how the worm straightened out on the hook there? And I take the tip, and I barely get just the tip of it barely in there. And uh, that's your Texas weedless hookup. Texas rig, they call that. I got just a little bitty bullet sinker on there. I think probably a 3 16 ounce, not quite a quarter ounce. Just enough to get it to the bottom a little bit. So that's the worm rig. Let's see if we can get some more fish on here. So uh, farm pond wise, there's pretty much a couple go-to lures and that's the spinner bait and rubber worm. Crank baits usually get hung up on too much moss and such. Not too many ponds you can really work a crankbait through. Not like a lake where you got a lot of open water and points and such. You can work a crankbait off those deeper spots. Spinners work pretty good. Little beetle spin setups. Little clip on spinners. But the uh, my go-to's for pond is rubber worm and spinner bait. Like I said, they work pretty good. Right now I got another one on. There we go. Let's see what we got. Another 14 incher. Just fell right out. I don't even know if he's 14. Proves point though about the worm. The rubber worm works. And uh, it helps be on good water. I heard guys say this before, and it's pretty true. You're only as good as the water you fish. If you're fishing offshore, go find some good places because uh, a lot of public places are so beat with uh, fishing pressure all week that the fish, they get wise to the lures. They don't bite like they do in a private place. And it's, it's not that difficult to go find a private place. You just gotta ask, like hunting season. You just gotta ask. Knock on doors, friends of family. Say, hey, I heard you got a pond. Would you care if I come fish it? Most people do not care. But that goes back to the three rules. Don't be leaving trash. Don't be loud. And don't leave gates open. There we go, got fish on right there. That's another small one. But there's a big chance for a big one. You just never know. It's one of the great things about fishing. You just never know when it could be the big one. Last week, I probably caught 50. 50 small bass or decent bass. Just a wide range. And then finally, I caught seven pounder. And I'm on the hunt. You can tell. I keep talking about it. I'm on the hunt this week. Well, like a couple weeks ago, went through a whole lot of little ones before I finally got the hog. So, uh, we'll see what happens this week. You know there's more than one big bass in here. That's for sure. Ooh, there, I got one hitting it. There we go. Too bad a fighter, that's for sure. Nice fish, nice fish. Yeah, little speed worms doing his job. Yeah, nice bass. Nice bass. I'll measure it out just to just to see how long it is. I think it's good 15 and a half, maybe for sure 15, which it is. <clears throat> legal keeper in Iowa and all your lakes and st lakes streams you can keep them at 12 the pond it's your pond you can keep whatever the heck you want to 
just to manage it. So get the tape measure out here. Oh, I broke out the tape. Just see what this one is. This is a decent bass. Looks uh looks like he stretches out. He's exactly 15. Yep, exactly 15. Nice little bass. Chuck him back in. One thing about a spinner reel, you always see me mess with it. It's always good to just check whenever you set your bail. One little loop gets down in there and uh, you don't notice it. Next cast, you could easily have a little bird's nest come out with it and get all tangled up. It's just a habit. Especially get to using uh, little inline spinners. They'll spin your line up really quick. But they're great little lures. So, this looks like the last cast for Friday night on the pond. The old speed worm was a ticket. I can't preach enough about this worm this week and last week. And, you know, last summer too. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. It's been a good evening out fishing. I certainly got enough footage to make a, a good video this week. And I hope I got uh, some fishing tips there in the beginning to help everybody out on what to use and how to go about fishing for some bass. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time.